Hi, this is Anne with Graphic Design How To, and today I'm going to show you a few ways to fix the lag issue in Adobe After Effects. And this is something that happens sometimes to me whenever I hit the space bar and I'm replaying a video and it just slows down. And then you can't even pause the video. Um, at least I can't, so it's really annoying. All right, let's get started. Okay, so first I'm gonna go over what fixed it for me. Um, first, I made sure that Bridge, Photoshop, and Acrobat are closed. So I'm going to go ahead and close those down. I'm going to force quit Acrobat and Bridge. And I just closed Photoshop. On my computer, especially having those programs open really slows down my After Effects. Then I'll come up here to After Effects Preferences. If you're on a PC, this is going to be under Edit. But on a Mac, it's under After Effects. And then we'll go to media and disk cache. Now I've got my maximum disk cache set at 23, but I'm going to go ahead and empty it. And I've got the clear disk cache checked for all versions and we'll say, okay. Then I'll come down here to clean database and cache and click that and say, okay. So doing those steps completely fixed my After Effects lag problem. But if you're still having issues, go back to your preferences and then go to display and uncheck Hardware Accelerate Composition Layer and Footage Panels. So we'll do that and then hit OK. Now at this point, you're going to want to restart After Effects and that should fix your lag problem. OK, so I'm not going to restart because mine is already working OK, but if that doesn't fix it, here's something else you can try. First, set your resolution here to quarter. Next, click on this Fast Previews button. That's a little square with a lightning bolt and click on Fast Previews Preferences. Change your Adaptive Resolution Limit to 1 16th, and then click GPU Information. Here we'll wanna change our texture memory to 1152. This is actually as high as mine will go, and we'll say OK. And then we'll go to Memory and Performance, and we'll change our RAM reserved for other applications to four, and then we'll say OK. Next, hit Command-3 or Control-3. That will toggle your preview pane off and on, so you might have to hit it a couple times. You'll want to change your resolution over here to quarter. And then make sure your range is set to play around current time. And then you'll just want to type the number of seconds of your video and then say OK. And that's it. And this should set up everything so the playback will hopefully never catch up to the render. And that is something that causes lag in some cases. And by the way, if you export this, even though it looks kind of bad, um, the changes will not affect the export, so it'll still be really clear. Now, there are some other things to check for. Adobe says to keep the source footage files for your project on a fast local drive. So if your source footage files are on a slow disk drive or on some server somewhere that you're accessing via like VPN, then your performance is going to be poor. If you have a pretty complex project, you'll want to divide it into simpler projects and then recombine them before you render the finished movie. All right, I hope this video has helped you. Um, if so, please leave a comment in the comment section below and let me and everyone else know what worked for you. And that way we can help each other. All right, if you like this video and you wanna see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.